That's the sound of lives being saved. The New York Blood Center used to hold up to 50 blood drives a day. During the pandemic, that number dropped to six, causing a massive back order on life-saving blood. Now that's slowly changing, thanks to Martin Whalen. I'd like to think that anybody would do this if they had the opportunity to do this or if they thought about it. Yeah. Martin is the owner of 11 bars and restaurants in New York City, but he's brought in less than 10% of his normal revenue because only three are open. The rest look like this. While there's no steady flow of business, Martin partnered with the New York Blood Center to host blood drives in his bars. So far, they've hosted about 20 and have donated more than 800 pints of blood. If you feel dizzy, let me know. Okay? Right now, blood is in high demand. Hospitals have resumed non-emergency surgeries and COVID patients are in desperate need of antibody-rich plasma, which is why people were lining up to do their part at Rivercrest in Astoria. Any kind of help we can offer to other human beings, I think, is, is great. The people donating Blood Thursday are leaving with more than just a good feeling. They're getting a Mets t-shirt and a voucher for two tickets to a game. They'll also be getting sent something that makes this program unique. They used to give a free pint of Guinness in Ireland when you gave blood because it's iron rich. So I contacted the New York Blood Center and said, can we start a program? And we called it uh, Give a Pint, Get a Pint. Martin's Catholic faith helped him to see the positive in this hard time. How you doing? It's also why Monsignor Fernando Ferrarisi donates his blood, which is among one of the rarest types in the world. Local businesses receive so much from the community and they give so much to the community that it's kind of like a synergy to get together and work together. Martin doesn't receive a cent for hosting the blood drives, but plans to continue the program indefinitely. All he hopes is that those who come in for their free pint buy a second. In Astoria, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.